Most of fans us had, and we back with another one right away. The biggest thief in the music industry. So it's a lot going on right now. They say basically he took a lot of people's lyrics and put it in his own way. You feel me? So is he really a thief? Or well, he's smart as hell? I don't know. Comment below. Y'all let me know what it is. Like I said, we don't do too much talking. Let's get into it. Let's go. Rod Wave been named the world done new for years, but lately he been in some trouble with the whole internet. What could he have done that made everybody so mad? Let's find out. Rod Wave been in a lot of controversy over the last few years, and one of the most notable was back when he got arrested for getting into it with his girlfriend at the time. So boom, out of nowhere one day, Rod Mugshot came out, and people was like, what did he do? What could he done? And what they were saying he did was crazy. Basically, they were saying he tried to choke his baby mama out. She was in the room sleep and Rod just came in there snapping. He was going crazy, choking her out while she sleep. Man, I'm talking about he was knocking everything off the shelves, off the wall, pictures breaking everything. And they said he did all that because he was thinking she was going through his phone. But the thing that made the whole situation worse was. But did y'all see the video that was surf like surfacing around? As far as when he was wherever he was at. And the girl, the girl, y'all know what I'm talking about. The girl bitch. She was alive and he passed back. <laughs> Ooh, I guess they got all that tied in this. Let's get it. They kids was at the house at the same time he was doing all that. Imagine what they was thinking. But 12 came and booked, bro. Put him on 5K bail for a minute. That was it. He really wasn't in no contest. That boy got 5K bail. August this year. He got into something with money bag. Yo, Rod Wave himself. Rod Wave dad got into it with money bag. Yo, I don't got to sit here and floss about what my boy doing. If I want to post my shit on the internet and tell my who on these, man, that's what the I'm going to do. Because any disrespect to daddy should have enough sense to say, you know what? Where your old boy at, man? That was my bag. Money bag. <laughs> I should have been told my son, you apologize. You said money bag. Money bag. <laughs> for being disrespectful to his daddy. The on with you feel like you want to shoot me. You all off in your car with your hand on your gun like you want to shoot me for asking you for a lighter. Yeah, that was me. You want to, you did it. You, you get in your car when you see I ain't running. You say for a lighter? <laughs> for a Bro, I promise you, bro, over oh, what? You say what I say. Hey, look, like, comment, and subscribe to the real page. Let's see what you about to say for real, for real. Let's go.
I'd have been surprised because the way these rappers been moving today. The thing is, though, Rod and Moneybag, yo, ain't never had no problems to the public. It seemed like they was cool. They even had songs out together. But after this, Rod just couldn't right. stop being in the media. A few months back, he was moving real bad. He was out with a girl. And he ain't know she was alive. So he walked in there being that like, part. trying to hug up on her. Didn't I say that at the beginning of the video? When the girl was on live, hey, bro, talking about it. I ain't gonna talk too much. You know, we don't do too much talking. But hey, shout out to Brooklyn, bro, speaking the same thing that I was speaking on. Let's go. Hey, look. Like, comment, subscribe to my page. Like, comment, subscribe to get like prints. You feel me? I think this is his page right here that we doing this reaction video on. So a hey, little definitely go like, subscribe. I'm about to subscribe to bro. Hey, look, for real, he's speaking what I was speaking on. Let's go. Like, I never say nothing back to y'all, but y'all went too far with the cheating still. I have to lie a lot, bro. And I feel like since I don't ever say nothing, y'all just get away with him. I heard Boosie on here about some money, huh? Let's go. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. I was stop it. That was even good. Get it's like a really Prince. good album. Let's I like it. it. And the album might have sold good and was loved by a lot of his fans, but it came with a problem. A problem of Boosie's journey. And Boosie was like, he ain't get my permission for this. And he was mad. And like, this wasn't just one bar or lyric. I'm talking about the majority of the song is just him using Boosie lip. He liking it when I hear it. He said he be it's liking it. You, got, you gotta compensate me too. This is a business. And after it this, they had a whole internet just talking about the situation. Yeah. Every side of the internet was coming at Boosie and Rod. Some people felt like Boosie was right. Some people felt like Boosie was just being petty. But he didn't care. That's Boosie what I'm saying. None of that. He took to the internet saying what he had to. How was it found? It's business and y'all know that. You ain't going to do that to no other major label without kind. Give y'all a little sick of the reason. I'm going to give y'all a little sick of the reason. You feel me? Read it. Right, go. Jackson, Marvin Gaye, our Prince, word for word for free? No. Then on top of all of that, Boosie was already well, ready. Thing, word for something word, like yo. this happened before. This wasn't like, the first didn't, time he got mad at Boosie using this song. Said something about a it. month you ago, took it word he came out word. coming at Young Blue for the same thing. Young Blue, can you do the right thing and get me my millions that was taken from me? You know I was messed over big time. Why don't you want to pay me? But after this, Boosie with your own line coming at Rod Wave, and it was only a matter of time before Rod himself would respond. Man, it gotta stop, man. Hey, look, that boy that came from Rod Wave, that boy that came from Kodak, that boy that came from everybody for real. But is he wrong, though? He, uh, is he wrong? Man, you ain't got to sue me. Word for word. Man, I'm going to pull up. I'm talking about word for word. I'm talking about suing me. I hope that ain't what it is. Hey, bro, I'll pull up on you, bro. Tell me a number. Tell me a real number, though. <coughs> I don't care a real number. Pull up and make sure you straight. Internet going. And look though, he say pull up, don't number, man. You owe that man everything you really got because you use half of the words for him. Then also I heard he took a lot of little fat songs. Lil Fat was part of Trill and T, you know what I'm saying? Trill and T. So he took a lot of little fat songs and used them word for word. So at the end of the day, every song that you really making <laughs> wasn't you, you feel me? Everybody yeah. talking about the situation and people wondering what's gonna happen to Rod Wade because Boosie do seem like the type of nigga to really take him to court. But where the problems will really come is Damn. on the internet, not just Boosie. Boosie sparked up a whole conversation people never really had about Rod Wade before. He sampled and used lyrics from other songs a lot. I'm talking about niggas made a whole eight minute of songs he done took from over the years. Eight minutes of stealing mm -hmm. is crazy. <laughs> but in the middle of the whole internet, just cooking, bro. Boosie came on IG previewing a diss track against Rod Wade. And this started to get it, bro. This started to get in his mind to a point where he was mad and hopped on IG telling the world. In my eyes, but I can definitely respect what Boosie got to say. You know what I'm saying? I definitely can respect what Boosie got to say. I definitely can respect what Rod Wade got to say. But at the end of the day, it boils down to the bigger people. You feel me? So at the end of the day, do I respect the fact that Rod Wade doing the work for work? Nah, I don't. But at the end of the day, can I respect the fact that he said he got the song clear and then he did it in his own way? 
And lyrics don't mean nothing. Check the copyright laws. Tell me, you got to understand them before you do it. Real hate real. hooks and verses, everything. What do y'all think, though? Is all the hate he getting justified or people are her guess? Because if he got permission, it is what it is. Me personally, I'ma still turn on that raw way when I get in the car. Unlike a rapper from my other video who turned the entire industry against her. I'm talking about she was constantly in the news beefing with people that the whole world just got tired of. And I discovered what really happened to her in the video screen right now. Like, comment, subscribe. Make sure y'all check out Get Like Prince channel. Make sure y'all subscribe to him. You feel me? Subscribe to me. Is it wrong? Is it right? Right way? Is it wrong? Is it right? Comment below, let's talk about it at the end of the day. Y'all already know what we do. We're gonna talk about this. We're gonna guess what we out here on Thursday.